The men captured their 48th conference title at the Big Ten Championships two weeks ago, while the women placed six, sixth. Sorry. Director of Cross Country and Track and Field, Mick Byrne, is here. We'll have some opening comments, then take questions. Thanks, Brian. On the uh, women's side, uh, moving forward to uh, Friday's uh, regional meet, uh, we're excited about it and, and uh, look at this as an opportunity to hopefully, uh, you know, move forward into the national championship. It's there is uh, the doors open and no clear favorites, although Michigan and Michigan State, um, two Big Ten schools that we faced last week at the Big Ten championships, are probably uh, favorites. But uh, the doors open and we do have an opportunity. Um, two weeks later, from uh, Big Tens, we have uh, Sarah Desenza and Shailen Sorensen healthy and uh, two more weeks of training. So uh, looking for uh, hopefully a big contribution from them and um, Amy Davis, who had a really good run at the, at the Big Ten meet, and um, Michelle Lee, Sarah Heineman, and uh, Alicia Monson, a freshman. So we, we got solid performance out of uh, the team. Um, unfortunately, Sarah and Shailen were short a few reps going into the uh, Big Ten championships, but Fast forward two weeks, uh, they're in a much better spot, and uh, hopefully uh, uh, we'll get a great contribution from them. But the door is open, and we do have a shot. And uh, you know, it's all about going into the regional meet and uh, believing that you have a, an opportunity to advance. Um, on the men's side, uh, I will admit it was uh, we were a little slow in closing the door on on the Big Ten championships because uh, um, you know coming back from last year's performance and, and uh, having the burden of that uh, the whole year. But uh, moving, uh, you know, we were able to go into Minneapolis and, and win that title, and, and that's exciting. And, and now we move forward. Uh, again, as I said, we were a little lazy uh, Monday and Tuesday last week and, and made sure that our kids enjoyed that performance, enjoyed that championship. Um, but again, uh, we have to close the door on it and, and move forward to, to Friday. Uh, we're going to face a lot of the same teams that we ran against at uh, Big Tens, Michigan State, who we beat by three points. Uh, Michigan are going to be very good. Um, we expect a big, uh, a big competition out of Indiana and also Eastern Michigan. So uh, again, it's an opportunity, and in, in the ultimate goal is to move forward to the national championships. Please tell me I don't have to start all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Can you uh, just kind of, uh, you don't have to go for hours if you don't want, but uh, the, the race that uh, Morgan McDonald uh, put forth a couple of weeks ago at Big Tens, um, that was pretty impressive. If you need me to go uh, kilometer by kilometer, I can, I can, cer I can certainly do that. I, I think post-race I talked about uh, I hadn't seen that type of dominance at the um, – at the Big Ten in, in, in years. Uh, maybe it's a product of, um, you know, last year's senior class was an outstanding senior class. Uh, Mason Fairlick from Michigan, uh, McClintock from Purdue, Caleb Raynard from Michigan State, and um, you can add on a couple of other kids, but it was a really, really, really strong uh, senior class last year. So not sure the depth was there um, up front at the meet last, last week with a lot of young kids. Um, including our own Olin Hacker. Um, but to see the way Morgan broke out after five kilometers, in, that was not the plan. He was supposed to wait a little bit longer. And um, it was, you know, we were on a golf cart trying to stay up with him and, and, and get from one point to the other and, and that difficulty doing that. He just took off. And, and yeah, I mean, I think um, ultimately he was trying to keep something in the tank for this coming Friday and, and hopefully for the national championships. But, uh, yeah, I haven't, again, I haven't seen that type of dominance. It, it was spectacular to see. Brian. Coach, uh, the, after the last season and the way your guys were talking after they won the Big Ten championship, is it kind of continue this week as almost like a redemption tour after what happened last year? Yeah, there was a bit of a hangover last week, um, metaphorically speaking. Um, <laughs> On, on their part, at least. Um, you know, the, last year was, was one of those years, um, and it took a while to put that behind us. Uh, the kids took it very personal. Um, it was a very difficult year for all of us, and uh, 
the way this team came together uh, over the last year, uh, made a commitment to each other, made a commitment to uh, being better and, and trying to win that trophy back. Um, it was, it's just great to see that, that commitment um, in, in the hard work that he put in over the summer and, and through the fall. Um, I think it was a bit of a relief. Um, and, and obviously, uh, I think a lot of it had to do with Maliki Schroblijan, um two-time Big Ten champion and in um, our, our team leader. Uh, you know, last year, Maliki was injured and um, put himself out there on the line and at the Big Ten championships because it was at home in Chicago. Um, and then came out in the regional meet and finished 30th. Um, I always... You know, when we're in the locker room, we're talking. I always say Maliki ran the regional meet last year on one leg. And um, I think the guys kind of embraced what he, what he did last year. He, they embraced what he's all about and, um, um, you know, kind of ran with that all season. In, in, there was a lot of emotion at the end of the race, for, if you saw the Big Ten um, uh, race. It, it just... You know, it, it, there was just a lot of emotion, in, in, and I think the, the, the guys felt that emotion. So a, a lot of relief also. Um, you know, they got the, the monkey off their back, and, and uh, um, you know, so you take that fast forward into this week's regional meet. Um, hopefully you're going to take a ton of confidence from that. Um, we do have a lot of young guys in, in freshmen, redshirt freshmen, moving up to 10K. Um, hopefully they don't fear that too much. We've talked a lot about that. That's a... That's a huge differential going from 8K to 10K, and, and uh, hopefully uh, they'll be able to handle that. I, I think it's more in, in the head than, than anything else. AJ? How big is it having uh, Shaylin Sorensen and Sarah DeSanza back for the women? That's huge. Um, you know, they, they ran solidly in, at the Big Ten meet, and you, but you could see out there that there, there was some struggle, some lack of strength from uh, not having a lot of work done, a lot of reps. Um, but two weeks later, it's, a, it's incredible how fit uh, these young women can get in two weeks. And, and uh, we're looking for a huge contribution. And, and I think uh, they're excited about this opportunity. There was some you know, fear on their part going into the Big Ten meet because, um, because they'd lost some training and, and lost some reps. And, uh, they know they got through that on a very difficult course up in Minneapolis, and, and now they're, they're kind of excited about running at home. And obviously, there's a huge advantage being at home. They, they train out there a couple of times a week, and, and they're very familiar with the, with the terrain. So, um, you know, obviously, at this level, it's all about confidence, and I think they're pretty confident. So, um, as I said, the, the door's open, and uh, we just got to go uh, and go grab this opportunity. You just mentioned the emotion after the Big Ten Championship. Are you telling your guys to bring that emotion with them this week? Or are you trying to carry that over? Oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely. You, you, you can't take this for granted. Um, two automatic spots, and um, there are 13 at-large bids around the country, and, and uh, we do have uh, points for that at-large consideration. But uh, you certainly can't take it for granted just because, you know, we beat uh, Michigan State by a slim three points at the Big Ten Championships. Indiana are going to come out uh, firing on all cylinders. They're uh, a little bit older than we are. Um, and certainly uh, Eastern Michigan, who were third here last year. So um, it's going to be a great competition. But it's, we can't take it for granted. The guys have to push the emotion of last week behind them. And uh, now, now it's time to focus on, um, on Friday. But, you know, we did, we did give them a couple of days to enjoy that, um, especially with the young guys. And, and uh, they rallied around uh, Maliki, as I said, and, and, and it was important to allow them, you know, have some time just to, to first of all, recover from a tough race on a very, very difficult course. And, but now it's game, it's, you know, game face on for Friday. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thank you. Thanks, Mick.